Okay, in this video, we're seeing how the radial and ulnar bones articulate with the carpal bones of the hand. This happens to be a left hand. In earlier videos we looked at, we were looking at bones from the right arm. Uh, so this will allow you to see both sides. And again, the styloid processes, lateral left, right, and the styloid process of the ulna, which is the more medial bone. These are collectively known as the carpal bones, but they have individual names. This irregularly shaped bone here is the hamate bone. This would be the capitate, the trapezoid, the trapezium, the scaphoid, the lunate, the triangular, and the pisiform. So again, that's hamate, capitate, trapezoid, trapezium, scaphoid, lunate, triangular, and pisiform. As we move beyond the carpals, we have the metacarpals. And the digits are always numbered, starting with your thumb, one, two, three, four, five. So this would be the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth metacarpal. Basically, these make up the palm and body of your hand, the long bones. Distal to those bones are the phalanges. Notice your thumb has only a proximal and distal phalanx. The other four digits have a proximal, middle, and distal phalanx, collectively called a phalange.